Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and we're about to find out the truth about the person that is on your mind. All right, let's get into the tarot for Gemini spirit. Tell us the truth about the person that is on Gemini's mind at this very moment in time. The truth about the person that is currently on Gemini's mind. And last shuffle, the truth about the person that is on Gemini's mind. All right, let's see what they don't want you to know, Gemini. Let's see the truth about this person right here and right now. Okay, we have the hanged man, Pisces. If you probably can't even see that because the card's so glossy. We have the king of cups. So you could definitely be dealing with a water sign, especially a Pisces. We have the Eight of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign. Seven of Cups. This person is all up in their head about you, whether they're speaking to you or not, Gemini. This person is in analysis paralysis, overthinking, stuck in their head, trapped. Like, they're confused. Five of Wands. They're battling with themselves. I don't know if the last time you spoke with them, you had an argument. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Overall energy, the world card. So I don't know if you broke up with this person or not. But I don't know if there was... I feel more so that this person, they're withholding from speaking to you right now. Like they're using all their strength to withhold from speaking to you, Gemini. This person's trying to study and rethink this situation they're thinking it over and over and over again trying to see every which way every which angle and gain clarity from this but they've thought so much about it that they got themselves into a trap analysis paralysis they're stuck and they're confused and they're fighting themselves to get out of it let's clarify this this is what they don't want you to know this is the truth about them right now especially if you're in separation i feel like you're you just got into an argument with this person or you just stopped talking to them recently. And then the world card is the overall energy. Clarify this for my Gemini's please, spirit. Clarify. I don't know why I'm smelling tobacco smoke like someone's smoking right now. <laughs> Clarify this for my Gemini's. Clarify this for my Gemini's. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, but I'm smelling that tobacco smoke heavy. I see somebody like either you're on a porch or you're in a basement somewhere and you're like, I could clearly see somebody with a black jacket on smoking. The clarifying the hanged man is the Emperor Aries. So it could be an Aries or Pisces of all. <laughs> and then we have the four of wands. So I don't know if this is a home or family situation. I feel like this is like a, this is someone who got, um, I don't know why I'm seeing like an old home. And it's like an older gentleman in their study or something, their office. At home, thinking. They don't have to be older, but I'm just seeing someone who has just a very mature, they're very mature, even regardless of age. They keep to themselves and they think a lot. They think more than they say. Clarifying the King of Cups is the Knight of Cups and the Magician. This person wants to speak to you. They want to regain control of the situation, but they feel at a they don't know how. And like they want, they're gonna try to control the situation and get back into this and offer you a cup, but they don't know how. Yeah, clarifying the Eight of Swords is the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is here twice. They feel like you'll get, they'll get rejected. They feel that you'll reject them. Like this person really wants to reach out to you. For some of you, this person could be... I don't really feel that this person is married, but for some of you, they could be. I feel like this person is like... They really want to gain control of the situation again, but they feel like they can't. With the Magician and the Knight of Cups, it's like they kind of want to manipulate you back into it with love. For some of you, this person may be married and, you know, tied to someone else, but they don't really care about the person that they're with. They don't even see themselves as married. 
clarifying the Eight of Swords is the um, Queen of Pentacles. Um, that could be you, Gemini. Um, you could be the magician as well. Manifesting a new love offer. Because the Emperor is Aries. Also, you could be dealing with the Pisces. But you could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, it could be a fire sign or a water sign that you're dealing with. But either you or this Queen of Pentacles. That has this person all up in their head. You may have had a fight with this person or they're currently fighting with their spouse and they're afraid to make a move towards you because they don't want to argue with this person. They don't want to, because I feel like this, the person that they're married to has picked up on whatever this is and they're getting into a lot of arguments with this person. Clarifying the seven of cups is the 10 of swords. Yeah, all, all these other parties, all these other cups have spilled. Like, I know this person looks peaceful swimming in this picture. You probably, like I said, you can't see it. But I feel like this person fell and dropped all their cups. And all the water just spilt out everywhere. And, they, like, that's why they want to gain control of the situation so bad. Because they done spilt their dirty laundry. And with the Ten of Swords, that's uh, backstabbing, betrayal. Everything is just, everything ran down. <laughs> everything that came out ran down. That's like a tower. And then we have the, the Knight of Pentacles again. So I feel like this person works really hard or they try to work very hard to keep this clean and covered up. They don't want to look bad. They don't want their business out on the streets. They try really hard to look like this. Like, look at this energy. He got all his ducks in a row. He got the shotgun in his hand. He's in control of the situation. He's dressed nicely. He, he just, he wants to be in control. He sits in his study. He wants to view himself as some, like someone who is in control, can do no wrong, nothing can, nothing bad can happen to him. But he ended up like this, walking in the lunchroom and dropped all seven of his cups in front of everybody, embarrassed. All his shit is out. And so I feel like the person he's dealing with no longer wants to deal with him. They may want a divorce or they could just be in it for the money, but there's no love. If this person is married, there's no love there. And I feel like this person wants to deal with you. They want to manipulate you back into this. They want you to come back. They want to be back in control of this to, to stroke their ego and make themselves feel better. Because they've embarrassed themselves. Whoever they're married to or with, they found out all about you and all these other people. This person is definitely manipulative. Extremely manipulative. They just like to be in control. They like to have their cake and eat it too. And they like to have multiple people, multiple parties. To make themselves feel good. They just like to have. They feel like they're a king or queen. Who I don't know how they identify. But they feel like they're the king of the castle. And they like to have a bunch of maidens. Clarifying the five of wands. Is the two of wands. This person is going to fight to contact you. It's like this person. You're not going to be used to how they, they're acting right now. Because they're desperate. So they're going to reach out to you in a desperate attempt to control the situation and argue with you and fight you back into their control because um, their spouse doesn't want to be with them anymore. Yeah, see, Ten of Cups. I don't know if you are their spouse or if you are one of their, you know, side people. Put yourself where you go in this. But the person who was doing the cheating is trying to fight to keep their marriage together and create this happy family now. So if they're not talking to you right now, Gemini, it's because they're trying to create this happy illusion. See, that's their wife and that's them and they're trying to look good for the family and the children. Because look at the wife. This is the wife that's in that picture with the white dress. She's like, oh, I'll just stay for the money, but don't touch me. I don't really like you. So this is like, they're just staying together for the image, for the money. She's staying for the money. But they're really not happy. He's just trying to be in control of her and to control his image. He's controlling her to control his image. Clarifying the um, the Knight of Pentacles is the Hermit card Virgo. So there's someone in this situation who's focused on their money, has their head down working. That could be you, Gemini. It's, I feel like there's, I don't know who this Knight of Pentacles is. It's like this person skates in to make an offer. I don't feel like it's this um Aries. There's like some gentleman outside of this situation, a younger person, a Virgo, 
who skates in offering a pinnacle to make this person comfortable staying. Okay, so this is odd. I feel like the wife in this situation has her own side piece or someone who likes her a lot and they like giving her money to make her feel comfortable or this, this this gentleman got this guy to give her money to make her feel better. I feel like someone is paying her t while she's in this relationship to make her comfortable. So this could be you, Gemini. If you're dealing with a cheating spouse or controlling spouse, you got a younger person offering you money here to keep you comfortable in this or something. Or maybe this husband got someone to send you, got someone to give you money to bribe you after this after this information came out, they sent someone to give you money or their spouse money to settle this, to keep them in the situation. Five of Cups, yeah. So this Knight of Pentacles, this could be, um, if you dealt with this in the past, for some of you with the Five of Cups past disappointments, maybe something came out about a past infidelity or this is an ex-spouse or whatever this is. And they're offering you money now to get you back or to pay for this. They're ashamed of this because everything came out. They're ashamed of it. So now they're trying to make up for it with a, a money offering, a peace offering. And with the overall energy being the four of pentacles, you're withholding from this. I feel like some of you may take the money and be like, all right, but, uh, you don't really want to deal with this person with the four of pentacles. You may save this money up to leave this person. But I feel like you're in it for the money. There is no love here. Wherever you go in this, I don't know if you're a side piece or the the spouse or the husband. I don't think you're the husband. But <laughs> either the side piece or the wife. Like the wife is getting paid to stay controlled, to stay with the wealth. She's staying for the money and the appearances. You may be paid off to stay out of it. That's okay, Gemini. If you're the side person, you're getting paid off to stay out of it or stay quiet. Someone is. Yeah, it's like... What's funny, comment down below if this part resonates because I feel like this part right here that I'm about to say is not going to resonate for everybody. There's some jockey boy or some young feller coming in the night or during the day to sneak and offer someone a pinnacle. It's like this guy sends the side piece some money to keep her quiet, some hush money from this young guy. He, like He gives this young guy the money and he's like, here, this is from so-and-so. To a peace offering to keep things quiet. And she's like, all right, I got you. I'm not going to say shit. And there may be people beating down your door trying to get at you. But you ain't going to say nothing because you got that bag. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. That is what they don't want you to know. That was a trip. That was a soap opera. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, a like comment, subscribe, or a share. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.